What does failure look like for each slot? First, let me exemplify what failure of a function looks like. So, a failure of extroverted intuition would be you're put on the spot to make something up and you draw a blank and can't think of anything and just stand there silently. A failure of TI would be you misparse some logical question and think you've gotten the right answer, but you've gotten the wrong answer. Uh, this is what a failure of functions looks like. Okay, so in the first slot, failure rarely occurs. And when it does, you don't think it's characteristic of yourself at all. And, you know, wave it, wave it away as anomalous, as you should, because it is. Failure in the second slot happens occasionally. You can recognize it when it does and understand fully what that failure means and the, the, the dynamics of it. And you don't like failing there, but it doesn't undermine your confidence in the function at all. Failure in the third slot produces actual change in you, such that your, operating, your operation of the first and second slot functions uh, positions differently let's say um, so that you can succeed in the third slot failure in the fourth slot elicits sense that somebody should others should help you there and is a weakness you're comfortable with acknowledging without it affecting your self-worth. Failure in the fifth slot makes you lose respect for yourself. Failure in the sixth slot makes you mad at yourself and um, you're also very aware that you're subject to critique by others. When you fail with your six, six. Failure in the seventh slot, you're oblivious to, don't recognize it for what it is, it confuses you, or you misattribute it to something else. Failure in your eighth slot makes you feel regret and is the source of most of your actual problems that you view as such as they're occurring. So, thanks for watching.